What was up beautiful geeks? Welcome to another video and today we're going to talk about how I study for and pass the MS-900. The MS-900 is very similar to the AZ-900. It is the Microsoft 365 fundamental exam. We're going to talk about uh, the video materials, the reading materials, the practice test, everything I use as a whole to pass the exam. So let's go ahead and get the video started. welcome back let's go ahead and get started as always for all of the exams that i take the first thing i do is that i go to the website and download the exam objective and this exam was no different so i went to the microsoft website i download the exam objective and what i normally do is that i go through the exam objective in detail now it's kind of weird because a lot of people they look at the exam objective and be like why do you go through the exam objective in detail but the reason why i do that is because it helps me understand some of the things that i've already some of the things that i already know and some of the things that i don't know and then i highlight some of the things that i don't know and as i go through the training whether it's a video training or, or reading material i kind of dive a little bit more in depth or dive a little bit more into the things that i do not understand and then go from there um, but the first thing you should always do when taking an exam is download the exam objective i will include i will include the link in the description to this exam objective so make sure you go to the website and download it and check it out Okay, so the second thing we're going to talk about um, is the reading material. So for this exam, I decided not to buy any book whatsoever. And the reason being that uh, with my AZ-900 exam, which is the exam that I took before this exam, I did bought a book. I did read that book. However, um, I did not end up using that book as the sole material. I ended up using the Microsoft Learning Path, which was great. So for the MS-900, I decided, you know what, I'm not going to buy any sort of book. I'm just going to go through the Microsoft Learning Path. And that was extremely good. That was a good decision. <laughs> Reason being that the Microsoft Learning Path is extremely well put together and I love it. I just, I love everything about it. It has all everything that you pretty much need to know to pass the exam. It also have questions at the end of each module, which was pretty good because the questions are very similar to the questions that you're gonna see in the exam. They're not the same, but the structure and the way it's put together, it's very similar to what you're gonna see in the Microsoft, the MS-900 exam. So it had going through the Microsoft Learning Path, I will put it somewhere in the screen here. So, <laughs> uh, going through the Microsoft Learning Path, you have the videos, you have some sort of labs in there. Everything is integrated so you don't have to kind of go out and go do and go look for something else. It's just all in one place. And going through that was amazing for me. And moving forward, any other Microsoft exam that I'm going to take, I'm just going to go through the learning path. I'm not going to buy any books whatsoever because you really, really do not need a book. Now, if you do want to buy a book, I will include a book in the description box below. It's very similar. The book is very similar to the one that I got for the AZ-900. But again, you do not need a book for this exam. You just need to go through the Microsoft learning path, go through the whole thing, go through each module. There's about five module in total in there. So make sure you just go through each, mod each module. I know that it's tedious sometimes to read, especially when you're reading off a screen and a lot of people like reading off of books, um, but it's just something that you have to do. So I went through the whole Microsoft Learning Path module for this exam um, and that's pretty much all I use in terms of reading material. So for this exam, the only reading material that I use is going through the Microsoft Learning Path. It's very well put together. It has all of the information that you need. There's a, a, a practice question or some sort of multiple choice question at the, at the end of each module and those multiple multiple choice questions are very similar are very similar to the exam questions so for the reading material all i use for this exam is the microsoft learning path i will include a link to that in the description box below next thing we're going to talk about are the video materials that i use for this exam and as always i use it pro tv for this exam i use it pro tv ms 900 course which was pretty cool because it wasn't as long as some of the other courses that I've taken. Uh, it was about nine hours and something minutes. Um, so it wasn't a, as long. Uh, you can go through that maybe on the weekend. If you want to go through it on the weekend, you can dedicate one hour a day or two hours a day and you two hours a day, you finish it in a week. Uh, one hour a day, you most likely, you, you definitely finish it in a week if you spend a little bit more time on the weekend, just kind of rounding things up. Uh, but for the video course, the main video course that I use, I went through the, I did the IT Pro TV and it was really well put together. I enjoyed it. It was really fun watching. Uh, it was, it was, it was enjoyable. Uh, it wasn't as long, so I kind of appreciate, I really appreciated that because a lot of the other courses are pretty long. 
um, which is not a bad thing because this is some of the things that you have to go through to kind of pass this exam. But for this exam, it was short, it was to the point, it was nine hours. Um, and that's pretty much the main uh, video material that I use uh, in terms of like the whole course as a structure as a whole. The whole course being put together, well structured as a whole. So uh, definitely IT Pro TV uh, MS900 course was great for me and I loved it. Now, if you do not want to go and you know pay for the IT Pro TV uh, course or the IT Pro TV site, you can go to Udemy, uh, you can check out Udemy and then buy a cheaper course there. You can check out online. I'm pretty sure there's a whole bunch of other places that you can go in and buy the course. But I used IT Pro TV and it was well structured for me and I loved it. Uh, the other video material that I use is John's material. Now this is the same guy that I use for my AZ900. I used his Roundup series for my AZ900. So I end up going with his Roundup series for my MS900 as well. And this was very helpful after going through the IT Pro TV video. Uh, going through John's roundup course for the MS900 was extremely, 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 extremely helpful. It just kind of round everything up for me like it did for the AZ900. It round everything up in the MS900 series. It put it all together and some of the things that you have to understand to pass the exam, some of the main things that you have to understand to pass the exam. And I enjoyed it and I loved it. So um, the two main material to round it up, the two main material that I use for this exam is number one, I used IT Pro TV um, for a structural course. Uh, and then number two, I used John's Roundup um, 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 video, which I, will include, uh, which I will include in the link in the description box below to round things up for me. I paid, I watched that video and I paid very close attention to everything that he was saying um, a couple of hours before taking the exam. And that's pretty helpful. So if you're gonna watch that video, uh, make sure you've gone through uh, the, the Microsoft learning path and then watch that like very close to when you're taking the exam because the information is fresh in your head. So definitely those are the two materials that I use, video materials that I use to study for the exam. Number four, let's talk about practice test and labs. So for the practice test, I end up using the IT Pro TV because again, I've already paid for the IT Pro TV. I've pretty much used them for most of my exam that I take because I've already paid for it and then they have uh, they have a, a, the practice test for that exam, so I figured I just use that. I end up using that. It was pretty. It was. It was really good, but it was a lot more harder than the exam itself. Uh, there's a hundred and something questions. I went through every single section, and I went through all of the questions. The questions are not the same, so if that's what you're thinking. Get that out of your mind. <laughs> if anything. The learning path practice questions at the end of each module is a lot more similar in terms of similarity, in terms of structure, it's a lot more similar to the exam than the IT Pro TV um, practice questions. Uh, the IT Pro TV practice questions were really good. They help you understand a lot of things and I feel like it was a lot more harder than the exam itself, but it was really good to go through that as well. Um, I went through, as I said, I went through um, every single section and um, it was it was good. It was a little bit tedious to go through, but it was good, uh, and it's well it's it's pretty well worth it. So make sure you check it out. Make sure you go through the IT Pro TV practice test. That's what I went through. But again, if you do not want to go through that, that's fine. Going through the Microsoft Learning Path and going through those you know answers, multiple choice questions at, at the end of each module, you will you pretty much do fine. Couple with a video series, you you would do fine. You don't need to take the IT Pro TV practice test. So for practice tests, that's pretty much all I, I used. Now for labs, uh, like I said earlier, there are some sort of labs included in the Microsoft Learning Path as you go through the path. But also what I did is that I signed up for a free trial. Uh, the free trial was pretty helpful uh, because it helps you kind of just go and then play around with some of the things that you need to understand, understand some of the things that they're asking you to understand on the, in, <laughs> on the exam objective. So that was pretty helpful. Uh, so definitely make sure you sign up for the free trial. You don't have anything to lose. And if you do want to pay, hey, yeah, you might as well just spend that money. If you do want to pay, find the cheapest plan and then pay for it for the month or the weeks that you're going to spend studying for the exam and just kind of go through it. The, the reason being that it's extremely helpful to have a really good understanding of some of the things that you're going through and the best way to have a really good understanding of something is to kind of practice. So, 
definitely make sure you check it out. Definitely make sure you sign up for the tri free trial or sign up for a cheap trial and then just go through it for the weeks and months that you're gonna study for the exam. So as far as practice tests and lab go, those are pretty much the two things that I used. To round things up, let's talk about the exam as a whole. Now, the exam as a whole, again, this is the MS-900 exam, uh, meaning that it is the MS Microsoft 365 fundamental exam. It's not a detailed exam. It's funny because I went through, I went through uh, a training recently at my job. Uh, it was it was a Microsoft 365 administration, uh, administrator uh, 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 training, and that one was much more in depth. It was really well put together, the labs and everything, like through the one week that I went through the training, you go through labs and everything, and that was really good. Uh, however, for this exam, you need to know and you need to understand the top level stuff. However, it doesn't go to, it doesn't go in detail about certain things. It, it tells you, hey, this is Exchange Online. Hey, this is Microsoft 365 Admin Center. Hey, this is Groups. This is this, this is that. It gives you a foundational level of foundational understanding of a lot of the things that you have to understand in Microsoft 365. So if you were someone that for the first time ever was to log in into Microsoft 365 Admin Center, you will not be lost, right? It gives you that foundational understanding of things. It doesn't go too in depth. Like I said, uh, the, M the Microsoft 365 administration uh, uh, administration um, uh, training that I went through recently at my job was a lot more in depth than this, uh, the MS-900. Uh, the MS-900 as a whole is a foundational exam. Uh, it gives you a very top level of Microsoft 365. And that's good because that's where you need to start before you go in depth into things. So you need to understand that foundational level before you start diving a little bit deeper into things. So if you're thinking about how is the Microsoft 365 exam, that's pretty much it. It's very top level. Hey, these are the things that you need to understand. This is the tab for this. This is the tab for that. And these are the things that this is how you this is how you can navigate your way around to understanding things. But it doesn't go too in depth about certain topics. So that's one thing to keep in mind. And as far as how hard is the exam, it is. Um, I wouldn't say it's a very hard exam. Um, however, it is exam. It is an exam that you have to study for. Um, even if you do not watch a video series, going through that Microsoft Learning Path, because videos are included in some of those modules as well, will help you out a lot. If you just wanna go through the Microsoft Learning Path, that will help you out a lot. That will most likely, definitely, get you to pass the exam, right? Just going through that and doing some practice tests as well. But again, there, there is a series of practice tests at the end of each, like at the end of each um, uh, module. So yeah, if you just wanna go through that, here's what I would say, <laughs> all right? Uh, if you all you want to do is just go through the Microsoft Learning Path, right? And you're like, I don't want to pay for IT Pro TV. I don't want to buy an extra course. Go through that in detail. Take your notes. Make sure you do uh, the practice uh, uh, questions at the end of each module. And then to round things up, look at John's um, roundup of the MS 900 exam. Those two things alone will most likely get you to pass the exam, right? Those two things will most likely get you to say, oh. Yeah, I can, I can definitely pass that. But um, just watching John's uh, video series, like video, well not series, or video roundup, and without doing the, um, the Microsoft 365 learning path, you're most likely not gonna pass the exam. Not unless you've been working with Microsoft 365 for a long time, then yes, you most likely pass the exam, which is John's roundups, uh, roundup video. Uh, but pretty much that's, that's it. It's not a very hard exam. It's not a very complicated exam. Um, it is a very straightforward exam and studying for it, putting in the work will definitely get you to pass it. So as far as the exam go as a whole, that's pretty much all the things that you need to know to pass the exam. The things to note as well is that this exam, Microsoft exam, what I've noticed about the Microsoft exams is that they are pretty straightforward. It's either you know the answer or you don't know the answer. It's, it's that simple. They don't try to make things super complicated like some of the other exams that I've taken where they will ask you just crazy long questions and then the real question is hidden in there somewhere and you have to think very carefully before answering it. Uh, with Microsoft exams, they are pretty straightforward. If you read the materials, it's either you know it or you don't. <laughs> it's that simple. Uh, so that's another thing that's another thing to keep in mind as well. But uh, if you go through some of the materials that I've talked about here, you will be sure to pass the exam. Again, as I said, it's not a super complicated exam. Going through the material will definitely get you there, get you to pass it. So as far as the exam goes as a whole, that's pretty much all you have to know for it. 
Thank you for watching the video guys. If you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that thumbs up button if you've enjoyed the video. Hit the subscribe button if you wanna see some more. I try to come out with one video every other week. Uh, life get busy, so I am thinking about coming out with video every week, but that's something that I need to put in place. It's a structure that I need to build. I'm working on it. Uh, but for now, I do try to come out with video every other week. So make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn on your notification if you do not wanna miss any video from me. As always, do not forget to stay geeking and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.